What's happening? Landlord from Alabama here, back with another video. And today, man, we talking about the lackluster run game that the Dallas Cowboys been putting on this football field. We need to figure out what's going on and try to find us some solutions. So I have five legitimate, real tangible solutions that we can implement for us to be able to spark this run game up to help us and propel us for this playoff run in 2024. I can't see a thing, all this money in my face. Hey. I just blew a bad rain and bed the same day. Hey. Ain't no looking bad, but we came a long way. Hey. Hey. I know that they mad, but let them hate. Hey. That what make them hate, that what make them hate. Hey. And we just get AK and they just send away. Okay, I think it's safe to say that the Dallas Cowboys have a problem in the run game. We are a middle of the pack run team. Basically, our run game is mid at this point. We are 14th overall at rushing as a football team, and that's just not going to get it. You need to be able to take your run game on the road if we have to go there in the playoffs for the NFC Championship or whatever. But we will have to use our run game in the playoffs to seal the win at times. We need to be able to run when we we need to run so we really trying to add nobody far as personnel go we just seen Dalvin Cook sign to the Ravens so we're not really in the running for a running back so we might as well look at what we have on this team to try to fix the problem that we have so let's take a look at it okay this is solution number one okay the first way to be able to fix a problem is admitting that you have a problem so we need to holler at Mike McCarthy and ask him why does it seem like he's addicted to running in the inside every day first down he's running up a gap all the time and it makes no sense it doesn't work so maybe we need to think about more outside runs that would be one of my solutions when Tony Pollard decides to run right behind either Terrence Steele or Jay Ferguson, he's averaging 4.5 yards a carry. Out of 42 attempts, he has 191 yards. With two touchdowns, five 10-plus yard runs, and 10 first downs. So he's very productive when he runs to the right side, outside right. And we definitely need to do that more When you see us do that little toss to the side Or that little outside zone run It usually is successful He's almost going crazy when he runs in that direction We definitely need to do that more So I feel like the way we attacking the run game Can get better instead of running And forcing our way through a brick wall Up the A gap or B gap Okay for my solution number two Add Mr. Hunter Lipke. Insert more Hunter Lipke. It seems like when I see him on film, he's way more physical. He's bullying people. He's moving people. He actually enjoys blocking. He looks like he's passionate behind it. He likes to be physical. We definitely going to need that going into the playoffs, playing teams like Detroit down the stretch, playing teams like Philadelphia or the 49ers. We definitely going to need more physicality. I feel like that could change our whole mind mindset when it comes to being a running team and we need to incorporate them more and another caveat into it another part of the equation you can actually hand him the ball off we understand that he fumbled the ball at Miami I don't want that to be a death sentence for the young man because he was actually cooking when he got his opportunities so we might need to give him another shot give him a shot at this Washington game or something like that to get his confidence up so we can use him down the stretch in this playoff run. He showed a lot of promise. I don't want to just throw that away because of one mistake. So incorporate Hunter Lipke, adding a fullback will change the mindset of the football team and add more physicality, which will overall help the run game. Okay, solution number three, to change our personnel. We run 11 personnel more than anything. It seems like that's the only personnel group that we run. So in order for us to be a better run team, maybe think about running 12 personnel, putting two tight ends on the field, add more schoolmaker. Instead of paying him the shot, we know schoolmaker is a better blocker already at this point. So if you add schoolmaker and Jake Ferguson 
and Honolulu at times. Let that package go out there and run. When you really want to be a physical run team, when you're trying to impose your will, run more 12 personnel and actually have a run package out there. Do you feel like stopping the run with a dime package? Do you think that's the same thing? It's basically the same difference on the offensive side. If you actually want to be a more imposing Physically imposing, dominant run team actually have some heavy packages, some run packages on the field instead of all this upbeat running out of 11 personnel when we already know that hasn't been working for us. Okay, solution number four, add more Dak Prescott to this run game. We already know, of course, you don't want to expose your quarterback to the run game that much, but I feel like down the stretch in the playoffs, the risk is worth the reward. Dak Prescott could break a football game open with his legs, so we need to incorporate that more down the stretch into the game plan. I feel like that'll open up a lot of doors. That's a whole nother dynamic that a defense will have to be worried about playing the Dallas Cowboys. Right now, he only has 28 design runs for 54 yards, but he also has 28 scrambles for 189 yards and two touchdowns. So we need to incorporate his legs in all facets and any different aspect that we can. We need to get his clock sped up. We need to have him on the move, bootlegs, running and manipulating the pocket, moving up, climbing the pocket, and finding run lanes on a regular basis moving forward towards this playoff run. That helps you in so many ways. It's a whole nother dimension that the defense have to worry about, and it can keep you ahead of the chains so Dak won't be taking no unnecessary sacks or going backwards and getting exposed in different ways like that. And it'll help him from getting these unwanted hits from, you know, from the right side or the left side. He's actually in control of what kind of hits he take if he's more proactive in running the football. Okay, for the final solution, solution number five, for us to help the very average, very pedestrian run game of the Dallas Cowboys is to incorporate receivers. We already know I have the running lamb video, CD lamb, straight rushing carries, normal running back formations and stuff like that, just taking handoffs and tosses. He's a very natural runner of the football, so you can definitely use Sedarian Lamb more in the run game. Right now, out of 13 attempts, he got 106 yards for two touchdowns, and he's averaging 8.2 yards per carry. So he's basically giving you a first down every time he takes the ball on a jet sweep or a toss. They doing normal running back stuff for C.D. Lamb. Maybe make this more of a staple part of this offense. Imagine like you the 49ers with Debo. This could just be something you increase, a role you increase for C.D. Lamb in the playoffs. So we already know C.D. Lamb plate is very big. We got a lot of stuff we ask of them. If you're not a fan of that, we still have another solution for you. You can incorporate Kevante Turpin in the same way. He's a known running back his senior year in high school. Of course, it's high school, but he rushed for 1,000 yards in high school. It was like 900 yards, not 1,000. But he rushed for 900 yards in high school as a running back. So he's a natural runner of the football, and he's averaging 10 yards, 10.5 yards a carry. So that's somebody you can actually incorporate as well into this offense, especially if the run game feel like it's struggling or something. You need to incorporate those spark plugs, do a jet sweep, do some kind of reverse or stuff like that to get the run game going to add a spark. And don't forget, Brandon Cooks is pretty good on jet sweeps as well. So incorporate receivers as a whole, I feel like that can add a boost to the run game, especially when we're not producing to the level that we might like. But overall, man, maybe we need to just change our view the way we look at the run game as a whole. We don't have a Zeke no longer. We don't have a Bell Cow type back. That's not who Tony Pollard is. Rico suffering an ankle injury, and he's been dealing with it since week six. So we definitely need to be thinking about this as a group thing, as a team thing. Who cares if you don't have a 100-yard rusher when you got Tony Pollard with 65, 70 yards, Rico Dowdle with 30, 40 yards. CD Lamb with a 25 yard run, Turpin with a 35 yard touchdown run. Like when you incorporate that and still have a team, a good team run game, 
200 plus yards throughout the team. Dak Prescott with 35 yards rushing or something like that and a touchdown. When you incorporate that as a whole, I feel like holistically we'll be in a better situation and attacking them far as the run game from different areas, from all different angles. I feel like it will be a problem if we incorporate most of these things, even all of these things. I feel like that could be a good solution for this team in 24 and help us boost and power through this playoff run, man, and go and get six. But that's all I got for you today, man. Just holla at your boy, Landlord from Alabama, with the same handle on all social media. And like I say, 1K, 1 Love, Cowboys Nation. Let's go.